This is a Forex preview here at XM.com. We'll be having a look at the non-farm payrolls report out of the United States on Friday. I'm Cristina Marujos and joining me today is Senior Investment Analyst Mario Sajikiriakos. The Fed has said that a reasonably good jobs report would essentially lock in a November taper move. Therefore, all eyes will be on Friday's NFP report, Marios. What are we likely to see in the numbers and do you think this will be sufficient for the Fed? Hello, Christina. Well, we're expecting another pretty solid employment report. So non-farm payrolls are expected at 450,000. That would push the unemployment rate a little bit lower. And overall, it would be good enough for the Fed to begin the tapering process next month. Now, as far as the risks surrounding these forecasts, I think they are pretty balanced. So all of the labor market indicators we got during the month, they were pretty mixed. So employment Employment growth accelerated in the ISM manufacturing survey, but it slowed down in the services survey. So similarly, in the market PMIs, they showed that job creation picked up, but it remained relatively subdued by historical standards. So there isn't any clear indication about any potential surprise, and I would expect the actual numbers to be pretty close to the forecasts. Turning to the dollar now, it has come out shining from the latest energy crisis, which reaffirmed its safe haven status. How do you think it will move on this week's NFP report? And what is the broader outlook for the currency? The market reaction this week, I don't think it's going to be huge. So if the actual numbers are more or less in line with the forecasts, what usually happens is that the dollar spikes in one direction, so 10 or 20 pips, but it usually gives most of that back almost immediately. So there's a lot of volatility, but no clear direction. And that's what I think will happen this week. For the dollar to assume a clear direction, we need a big surprise in the numbers, which doesn't look like now, in the bigger picture, I still think that the outlook for the reserve currency is positive. So lately, it has gained a lot from safe haven flows like you just outlined. We have a lot of risks around the world from paralyzed supply chains to an energy crisis in Europe and Asia. And overall, the markets are grappling with the risk that this could slow down economic growth, but perhaps inflation could remain hot because of the supply disruptions. Now, that's a great cocktail for the dollar because the U.S. economy is shielded from this global energy crisis. America is more or less self-sufficient on energy. So the U.S. could be hit by the energy crisis, but the impact is probably going to be much smaller than Europe or Asia. Now, the other element that I think will keep supporting the dollar is pricing around the Fed itself. At the last policy meeting, the central bank was split evenly on whether rates should be raised next year already. And after that meeting, the markets wasted absolutely no time. The first rate increase is now almost fully priced in for December next year. So moving forward and as the Fed begins to taper and buying less bonds, I think that we are going to see US yields grinding higher, especially if inflation remains elevated during that period. And over time, that could support the dollar further against the low yielding currencies like the euro and the yen. Marios, thank you for joining me today. This was a Forex preview. Thank you for watching at XM.com.